Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to run your little isobutane stove on a one pound propane bottle. Alright, thanks for coming back today. Thanks for watching. I want to show you something that's really kind of handy. This is a Lixata camp stove adapter. They run about 14 bucks. Fairly simple, fairly simple item. And what they'll do is they'll adapt your propane bottles, your one pound propane bottles, to your little Lindell valve for all of your different camp stove. And we're going to test them all out today. I'm going to show you what it works well with and what it doesn't work well with. But pretty much what I like about this is it gives you more options. And more options as a prepper or survivalist is always good. It also can help you run this, these kind of stoves when it's a little colder out than usual. We all know these things don't perform well in the extreme cold. And these do. Propane vaporizes at minus 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Isobutane vaporizes at plus 31 degrees. So this will freeze up faster than this. This will freeze up, don't get me wrong. I've had them freeze up on me. But this will freeze up a lot slower than this one. So I'm going to show you how this works pretty much. Um, it is cheaper. You gotta remember these are 230 grams and they run, gosh, I wanna say anywhere from five to seven bucks to ten bucks online, you know, if you buy it in the wrong place. And if you buy them in the stores, they're usually close to that too. I've seen some for seven or eight dollars. Um, these you can get two for six dollars at Walmart, or seven dollars now, I think. And they're fairly inexpensive and it's more volume. You're talking about 230 grams as opposed to a one pound propane. Now, Propane butane mix gives off a good hot flame and again, I'll show you what it doesn't work for But it burns very hot very quick and This is cheaper to use and has a bit of a higher pressure So you will get higher flames So you want to keep that in mind when using it on your stoves Some stoves can probably take the higher flames like these Coleman peak ones. These are pretty sturdy But when you're using something like a little tiny BRS titanium You want to keep that in mind higher flames hotter temperature might melt it, you know Generally, probably not a problem, but it might, it might happen, so it's a good idea to keep an eye on it. First thing we're going to start off with whoop, is this guy here. This is just a Luxata deal, and you're going to take the Lindell to the Lindell there, see? And it screws on very easily. So there you go. Bring this over here, and I'm going to screw this on here. And again, this isn't a perfect solution, but it does give you more options for your stoves. Okay, I think that's pretty well set up. I don't—I forget if the uh, sparker works on this one. Yeah, it doesn't. So let's use this one. And there you go. I'm going to move the camera up a little bit here, so you can actually see it. And you do have a little bit of a higher flame. This can go much higher. Because again, the pressure inside this bottle is a little bit higher than the pressure inside these. So as you can tell, it works, and it works very well. And if you're just cooking, it works great. Let's test it out with the other stoves real quick. All right, the BRS Titanium. Here we go. I have to say, this um, is really, this made by Luxata is really machined well. Um, I don't have any, you know, cross threading worries or anything like that. It really snaps on there really easy. It slides right on. Now, the nice part about this is still using the propane, I can simmer that really, really, really low. See how low that is? So it's just like using the isobutane. It still works the same. It still simmers very low. It'll just give you a little bit of a higher, higher flame. So you want to keep an eye on that. Let's switch out to the last one. This is the Coleman Peak. Get on there. There we go. And again, this one too simmers very low, so you can have a nice low flame or turn it up to turbo. It's a little less controlled in this one, 
I keep it right about there for cooking. Gives you a nice steady flame. Um, I suspect this isn't as pressurized as the others, as, as designed the same as the others, where you get a really like a blowtorch flame. So when you turn this one up, it just kind of blobs all over the place. And it's not as efficient. Now let me show you what this won't work for. You guys remember a while back, I did a review on a little lantern that sits on these little isobutane canisters. I have it over here. And it will work, okay? But I want to show you the difference. Let's put it on here first. There we go. There we go. Forgot. Lighting it on top is a little bit easier. Lighting it on the bottom wasn't, wasn't behaving. So you see how nice that works. You know, nice bright white light there. Working very well. So, let's turn that off and try it on the propane. And again, I suspect the differences are the fact that the gas is not of the same composition, and probably not at the same temperature and mix, so you don't get as good a flame. Okay, let's try this again. Now, I want you to see what's happening. I got the, the light off. I'll take this light off too. You're not getting as good light here and you're getting a lot of flame out from the sides. So is it working? Yeah, it's working. But it's not working as efficiently. And that's just the difference in compositions of the gas. So in something like this, yeah, it won't work. When you're looking for just plain fire to cook on, works great. You know, so you got more options. You have the situation where you may not be able to find isobutane. You know, it's not unusual for it to be uh, out at the stores, or maybe you're camp hiking and you're on a, a trail, and you come across one of those little trailhead stores, and they don't have any isobutane, but they have this. So it gives you options. The um, reason I'm getting it is I'm looking into getting a uh, remote canister stove for the vehicle kit. Um, I realized that I have everything in there but a propane stove. <laughs> so one of those cheaper and expensive kind of remote canister kits and if you haven't seen them they basically look like a stove kind of similar to this but they have a little thing that goes over here to a canister. What I want to do is use it with this. I feel a lot more secure with one of these in the car than these that will you know maybe in the heat might leak. Um, it won't be in there full time it's more of a car camping type thing. But uh, that's what it'll be for. So I want to pick that up and try it with the remote canister stove. Anyway, this is a very inexpensive item. They run about uh, 14 bucks. I think they're $13.99. I will put a link down below in the description to see where you can pick one up. And another thing when you're shopping for these, be careful. Because some of them, the same item made in the same factory with a different coloring. And they're charging $39 for it. Or $35 or $42. And then some of them are $8, and they look like they'll fall apart if you put anything on them. So, the reason I chose Luxada is I've used enough of their gear to know that their gear is pretty decent. It's good to go. I haven't had any real problems with Luxada stuff. So, that's why I chose it. And that is the Luxada Camping Stove Adapter. Like I said, it's $14. Bucks. Now, again, this is going to be a heavier carry, and you're not going to carry this in a bug-out bag or something. But for a car kit or car camping or overlanding or just an overnight camp somewhere, it definitely gives you more options. So uh, if you're bugging out, say, and you've got your kit in your car and your bug out bag in your car, which is generally how I think most of us plan on bugging out, you know, at least to start until the gas runs out, um, you have an option. You have a way to uh, power your stove. And it's not heavy. You know, it's a very light object. I guess maybe four ounces or so. You stick this in your gear. And you're always ready for a situation where these become either unusable because of cold or unavailable. And all you can get are these. So what I'd like to do, we're coming to the end of uh, to winter here. We may have a few more cold days. What I'd like to do is on the next really, really cold day, I want to take this out and try it. But we may not get another really cold day like we've had. So if I don't get to do that, we'll test it next year, I guess. <laughs> it gets really cold. Um, I want to see how it holds up. Now, I've had these frost up when I'm using them in a propane heater. You know the little Mr. Buddy single propane heater thing? 
I have had them frost up, but they still keep working. So that's the option with that. This will give you a little more runtime in the cold, whereas this won't. Anyway, that's the video for today. This is the Luxata Camping Stove Adapter. They're about 14 bucks. Link's down below in the description. Don't forget to check out our Amazon store. Um, everything in the store is pretty much what we review. Um, give or take a few things. And uh, you can check it out. And if there's nothing in the store you like, just click that link. Search in the search bar for whatever you normally purchase on Amazon. It won't cost you anything extra. And it helps out our channel a whole lot. And we really do appreciate those of you that have been doing it. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link. i got some more Thrive videos coming up. It's... um. I've been trying to work them in. It's been a little hard because of all the other stuff that I had to review and the stuff going on with buying a new car and getting it outfitted and everything. So I have more Thrive videos coming um, rather soon. So don't forget to check out that link too if you're interested in getting started up in some freeze-dried food. It's really high quality stuff. Um, I know I sell it. I'm saying that, but I'm telling you, ask other people who've tried it. It's way better than most freeze-dried stuff. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate that you guys uh, take your time out of your day to watch us. Don't forget to click and uh, click like and share and subscribe if you like the video. And stay safe and stay prepared.